Good afternoon, Stephen. We appreciate you uh, giving us the time to get an insight into your working life here at Edshaw. I've got some questions for you here. Not a problem. I'm always pa happy to pass on my knowledge, skills, give you full access to my brain. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, shall we begin then? Of course. Fire away. Bang. Hi, uh, yeah. Um, well, begin with just giving us a brief description of the university and the course you've decided to study. Well, I think it'll be easier for you and your viewers if I give you a bit of a personal edge on the situation. Yes, well, we would like it to be from the, the horse's mouth. Well, I've always been tutored as a special individual. It's a homely aura that surrounded me and released it upon the world of film. Ah, that's, that's interesting. Um, so your passion for film came in your formative years. Um, was there anyone that inspired you, a director perhaps? Well, I've always known myself as an individual. No one's really inspired me. Um, you could say Spielberg due to me films box office appeal. But I'm, I'm an auteur, my art speaks for itself. I heard people compare you to directors like Ed Wood more than Spielberg. Oh yeah, of course, um, yeah. I, I think he's good, really truly inspira inspiring. So you are familiar with the work of Ed Wood? Yeah, yeah, he's truly inspirational. Right, <laughs> okay. So um, talk us through the process of you went through making your last film. Well. I'll try and speak slowly here for you. It's quite a complicated process. Uh, I had this idea swimming around up here that the university campus is a perfect place for a zombie apocalypse. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm all about originality. I took on the roles of writer, director, producer, uh, even cinematography, lighting, sound, anything you could name. So you did all of the roles in the project yourself? What did the other two members do? Um, they weren't good enough for the project, shall we say, so I had to let them go. Um, I thought I could do it all myself with all the skills and knowledge of my genius up here. Well, that concept is certainly abstract. How did the film turn out? Did you achieve your goals? Well, I'm really pleased with how the film turned out. Yeah, I'll be sending it to film festivals across the country and even abroad. Yeah, so I think this could be the making of me. Remember the name? It sounds very interesting. Um, was there any particular techniques or conventions you decided to apply when you were in the horror genre? Well, a particular aspect I think is majorly overlooked is the films like Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield with the handheld camera. So I took my camera to the woods and decided to film it there. You must have uh, good camera skills to avoid the typical student problems of bad camera work and dodge editing. Yeah, I've got really steady hands. I think it, it turned out really well. I've just been editing it, actually. So is there any chance we could see it? I'm, I'm intrigued. Of course. Nobody's seen it yet, so this will be the world premiere. Yeah, next stop, can. What do you think? It's certainly unique, Stephen. I can tell that you're pleased with your work. Yeah, I think the pupils and course see me as the driving force of the course, so I think I've achieved my aims in this. Alright, here's the man now. You alright, mate? I'm just in the middle of an interview. <laughs> Stephen, the class in here in five minutes. Better wrap up then. I was just showing them your film. Oh, right. That's brilliant. Stephen? Yeah? Can you leave, please? I've got a class in five minutes. 